Hello and welcome to another edition of the SHIP Sports Report. I'm Bill Morgel. Today we're going to profile the Red Raider football team that is currently in the middle of its spring season. Four hard weeks of practice and work will culminate on Saturday, April 14th with the team's annual Red-White game to be held at 1 p.m. from SU Student Association Field at Seth Grove Stadium. Joining us to discuss the spring thus far is Red Raider football head coach Mark Macheski, fresh off his first regular season at the helm of the program. Coach Mack, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. First thing I want to ask you is about the mindset of the players and the coaches as they go to work here in the spring compared really to the rigors of the regular season. What is it that the spring offers that the coaches are really particular, particularly interested in seeing uh, out of the players? The first thing is I, I don't know if there's a lot of difference between the way we approach practices uh, in the spring or the fall. You know, it's pretty much the same right now. Uh, we still, you know, we're attacking it uh, as far as with the meetings and uh, our practice schedules are about the same and what we want to accomplish are the same with the practice. Now, the big difference is to see what some of the kids that didn't get a chance to get on the field last year, see what they can do. Uh, to prove themselves on the field right now because we go out to spring and there is really no depth chart you know we try to rotate people in and, and let them earn their spots and their positions and uh, you know in upperclassmen we we try to get them to get better every practice and uh, the young guys you know try to get them out in the field and get them used to playing now uh, at the same time at this time last year uh, it was your first spring the team was getting uh, so its first exposure to some new playbooks and making a lot of adjustments. The team's had a full year to get used to those changes now, but talk about how valuable the spring can be really to reinforce those new schemes and maybe allow for some experimentation with other things. You're exactly right. That's what spring is for. You know, first of all, get us back on the saddle, on the horse, you know, and uh, get things going again. And plus, we're able to uh, try new things, take things out of the playbook, put things into the playbook, and, and you know, also test, uh, you know, who we want to put where. And uh, so it all works out well for us, and uh, spring so far has been great. Now, uh, going off of that, really, this is kind of a question, really, for the casual viewer that may be watching this, but from a coaching standpoint, is it, is it safe to say that the spring's maybe a little more devoted to my construction and some teaching than it is more to assessment? I mean, you have a little bit of both, but if you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. You know, we have uh, individual drills and a lot of that stuff. Uh, that we want to focus on to make sure our kids, you know, not only get the big picture of what we're trying to do, but the details. And we talk about paying attention to the little things, you know, because those little things make a big difference in, in the big picture. So we concentrate on a lot of little things in the spring to, to help them with their technique. And, uh, uh, you know, with the mental, it's as much mental in the spring as it is physical. And that's what we try to get out of them. And so they, they understand more about the whole package and what we're trying to accomplish, whether on offense or defense, and be smart football players. Now, right now, you're 11 practices into the spring already, a uh, couple more to go before the red-white game on April 14th. Could you talk a little bit about really your observations thus far, including some of the positive things you've seen from the team in the camp? Well, to tell you the truth, I think it's all been positive. You yeah. know, every practice has been positive for us. We are getting better every day, and I'm really excited about where we are as a, as a family, as a football family. Our kids uh, are just feeding and, and building off of the 7-4 and four record last year, and, uh, you know, it's been great so far. They've had great attitudes. We're making a lot of good plays, and it's a give-and-take situation. And that's what I wanted to see as a head coach is, some days I like to see our offense take it to the defense and defense take it to the offense the next day. And that's pretty much what's been happening so far. So we're really excited about that. The one thing I can say that we're really working on is the consistency part. Uh, you know, from play to play, day to day is being more consistent. Uh, not so many ups and downs, but a little bit more even keeled. Now that being said, with a couple practices still to go before Saturday, uh, what are some of the things you want to see out of the team in those last couple of practices? Well, you know, we've put most of our package in offense and defense. There's not not really anything that's going to go in next week uh, before the spring game. So we're just going to continue to practice what we have in and, and work our skills. And, you know, the biggest thing is effort. You know, every day has got to be an effort day. And, uh, you know, every day we got to get better. And, and that's the key to it. Now, lastly, it's kind of a two-part question, but I know last year you mentioned that spring game is really an opportunity for the players to get out and let loose a little bit after the really the grueling work schedule that you had. Uh, talk about just, you know, if that's really still the case and 
Also, though, a little bit about the environment for the game. There's going to be tailgating opportunities yeah, before the game, and there's an alumni reception afterward. Yeah. Talk about just what the day itself, if you could, brings to the table. First of all, you know, going into it, I wanted our spring game to be a spring game. I want it to be as much as like a regular season game as we possibly could. So that's, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons we start spring ball early is so we have the opportunity to play our spring game in the stadium. Uh, because of track meets and things towards the end of April, we're not able to do that. So we want to make sure we get in the stadium. Secondly, you know, it is uh, just like a game for us. Uh, we're going to eat breakfast together as a team. We're going to do the Red Raider walk over to the stadium. Uh, you know, we're going to have pregame just like we do in a no normal uh, game, you know, in the fall. And, and it's going to be set up just like we got an officiating crew going to be there. The concession stands are open. The band's going to be there. Uh, tailgating is going to happen. So I really want to treat the kids to a, a real game atmosphere. And uh, they really enjoyed it last year. Got a ton of positive feedback, not only from our players, but also from the campus community, local community, and alumni. Uh, so we're going to try to set it up as much as we can as a, as a day, uh, as a regular game during the fall. And then after the game, we have alumni function for uh, all alumni football players that come back. And that, uh, that alumni event is going to be held over in the uh, conference center at the SU Foundation building. Correct, correct. correct. And, uh, you know, I welcome uh, any alumni out there that, uh, they're, who uh, played football for us to please come on by and uh, come out to the game. It's going to be a great time. Sounds good. I want to thank Coach Mark Macheski for joining us today. And, again, one more reminder to you all that Saturday, April 14th at 1 p.m., you can see the Red Raiders in action from SU Student Association Field at Seth Grove Stadium. That'll wrap up another edition of the SHIP Sports Report. For more information on all 20 of Shippensburg University's intercollegiate athletic teams, please visit us on the internet at www.shipraiders.com. Have a good one.